We talked about this on the stream on Wednesday, and boy, that was a fun old time. But, oh, just to set the scene, and given the fact that there are so many idiots that are out there that say, if you just ban all the guns, then nobody's going to die anymore, okay? Gun laws work. Gun control works. Well, peek this. An armed woman, an armed woman with one of those big scary rifles was taken into custody after prompting a SWAT response at Trump Tower. Which Trump Tower are we talking about? Oh, the one in Chicago. And what does Chicago have? Some of the strongest gun control. See, they don't work. Only criminals get guns that way, okay? The only people that are left with those big scary rifles are the people that you don't want to have those big scary rifles. You take firearms out of the hands of the people that are good law-abiding citizens, then guess what happens? Only the crooks and criminals have them because, oh, if you throw another law on top of something, do you think that they actually care? My father, my father, great man, still a great man at this point in time, instilled in me a very important piece of knowledge. A lock is only going to stop an honest criminal. If somebody really wants something, if somebody is desperate enough, they're going to find a way to get it. Okay. The only thing that gun control laws do in the United States, and as a Canadian, I don't, I don't have first-hand information, but as somebody who lives in Northern Alberta and hunting is kind of the norm, I've been around firearms all of my life. So I know, but I don't know specifically. I can see from afar that clearly this stuff doesn't work because you take a look at where all the gun crime ends up happening, a vast majority of it, at least not the stuff that gets publicized in the media until they find out that the shooter is trans and then all of a sudden, oh, don't worry about it, man, we'll just uh, we'll move right along. But gun laws, gun laws just try to make criminals of regular law-abiding citizens and we're getting to a point and I do believe that this was Andrew Tate who said this to begin with. There used to be a time in place where you could just be a law-abiding citizen and you could just live your life appropriately. Nobody would hassle you. Nobody would cause you any harm. But now, over the past three years, paraphrasing a little bit, over the past three years, you have learned that if you just want to live your life, if you just want to go to work, if you want to earn a living for yourself and your family, you cannot do that if you are a law-abiding citizen, okay? Let's just peek this one more time, okay? An armed woman was taken into custody Wednesday after uh, walking into a Trump International Hotel and Tower and setting off an hours-long SWAT standoff at this downtown skyscraper. Why, though? The, it's like, when was the last time Trump was at that tower? Like, he was just at the New York Trump Tower, but the Chicago one? Really? Uh, okay. She was alle she allegedly brandishing her rifle when she entered the building at 401 North Wabasha or yeah Wabash 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 Avenue around 11:25 uh, a.m. Oh, well, right at the uh, crack of dawn, according to two law enforcement sources. Uh, the incident was thought to be domestic in nature and wasn't linked to terrorism. Well, okay, it's domestic in nature, so why not domestic terrorism? You bring a gun into Trump Tower in downtown Chicago, we know that you're not exactly a friendly, okay, you're not auditioning to, being, or to be security. Police radio traffic shows officers uh, were called to the apartment on the 27th floor where the woman allegedly went after saying she was tired of being abused by her husband. And just go to the fucking cops, bitch, okay? And especially if you have a gun, he wouldn't be abusing you. She was taken into custody and brought to the hospital to be evaluated, of course, because the underlying joke on that one is uh, she actually wasn't uh, married to Dolph whatsoever. I actually have no idea, man. But of all the places that you could go, of all the places you could go, you take a long gun, which I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's an assault weapons ban in Chicago or Illinois proper. So yeah, um, wasn't supposed to have it there, but guess what? Man, she did. So gun laws. Gun laws work, right? But imagine, okay, yeah, just take this out further, okay? The only people that are going to have firearms are going to be the criminals that are anywhere, and eventually the police will come get them, right? Mm-hmm, of course. So you take all the guns out of the way, okay, uh, nobody's going to get shot anymore. All right, bet. Then how do you explain the, what, the hundred or so odd shootings that happen in the UK? And eh, don't worry about it, but they don't have the rampant gun crime that is out there, but... What's the go-to violent crime? Well, it's stabbing, and a high-profile one happened once again. Recently covered the one that happened in Vancouver, and then you take a look at this. A cash app creator in San Francisco and tech executive Bob Lee fatally stabbed in San Francisco. So you ban all the guns in these liberal cities. You can't defend yourself appropriately. And then what ends up happening? 
a crazy motherfucker runs up on you and takes your life with a knife because well, if we could just ban all the knives then nobody's going to get stabbed great fantastic crazy people are going to do crazy shit regardless of their methods case in point no pun intended with the point. Uh, tributes have begun to pour in for Cash App founder Bob Lee after it was reported that he was stabbed to death in San Francisco, California. Police found him on Tuesday morning suffering from numerous stab wounds and transported him to a hospital where he died. No arrests had been made. New York Post reports uh, that the developer of the mobile payment system Cash App is a smart cat because Cash App is very popular. Um, great competitor uh, to PayPal. Um... I know that online e-girls love themselves some cash app. I haven't used it or anything like that. Christ almighty, I mean, that's some simp behavior, but no. It's one of those go-to places, man. Bob Lee was fatally stabbed on Tuesday morning in San Francisco. According to a local police reports, a 43-year-old was attacked in a downtown neighborhood of Rankin Hill. Is that a Chinese guy describing who was the president during the Civil War? But this is a fairly high-end neighborhood in San Francisco, by the way, okay? He wasn't walking through the tenderloin, okay? He wasn't, you know, hitting up Castro or something, just, you know, walking on the grass, and somebody decided, you're, you're stepping on Jesus! It's like, okay, this is a nice-ass area. And then he gets jumped. Fantastic. Officers arrived on the scene and discovered Lee suffering from numerous stab wounds. He was taken to a nearby hospital uh, when he was uh, eventually where he eventually passed away from his injuries. San Francisco police have not yet disclosed any suspect. Yeah, it's probably some homeless dude, okay? Or many other arrests, according to his friend and mixed martial artist and one of the most based people to follow on Twitter. I'd highly recommend it. Jake Shields. Lee was attacked while walking. He was in a good part of the city and appeared to have been targeted in a random mugging or an attack or just being... A white guy in San Francisco, because that's a play that is ground zero when it comes to the whole reparations push in California. Which yo, I got to talk about that in some point, uh, some point in time going into the future. Because holy shit, their demands is getting wild. Just about a trillion dollars. Just about a trillion dollars to people who had never been a part of indentured servitude. Just fucking wild. The entitlement. Anyways. Um, in his impressive career, Bob Lee had been in positions such as Squares, a chief technology officer, and most recently, Mobile Coins, chief product officer since uh, November 2021. On Tuesday night, his co-workers started offering sincere condolences. Merge those two words together. With Mobile Coins CEO Joshua Goldbard calling Lee a force of nature. Yeah, he seemed to be a pretty accomplished cat because Square was also founded by Jack Dorsey, okay? So it's a big incestuous pool over there in the, you know, the actual successful side of you know, San Francisco's Silicon Valley tech culture. Everybody knows everybody and everybody's worked with everybody. You know, you just take a look at the PayPal mafia, okay? You had Peter Thiel, Elon Musk. I'm sure Bob Lee, you can probably trace him back to that at some form or fashion. But yeah, all of those guys went on to be wildly successful and start up other companies as well. Just unfortunately, nobody uh, started up a stab-proof vest company. Uh, Bob was a fourth of nature. Fourth, a fourth of nature. No, Mike Tyson's given the eulogy. A force of nature. Helped to birth Android and Cash App into our world. Yo, are you fucking serious? Yo. And this guy gets fucking, you know, stitched up because well, some fucking crackhead decides that he wants to run his pockets. What are we doing? Uh, Moby was his dream. A privacy protecting wallet for the 21st century. I will miss him every day. Yeah. Lee made a lot of contributions to the tech center or sector. According to his profile on Mobile Coins official website, Lee previously worked at Google. Everybody has. I'm pretty sure. Actually, given the fact that you might be watching this on YouTube, I technically work for Google, which is kind of fucking weird. Anyways, it's just, yeah, definitely not a monopoly. Okay. Uh, where he served as team leader for the Android Core library and contributed to the induction of the most popular operating system in the world. Yeah, Android. Android's everywhere, but Apple specifically, like the iPhone, it's weird how well marketed Apple products are, even though they are, you know, like structurally and performance wise inferior. It's just a wild thing. Anyways, um, after that, he invested in a number of businesses, including Figma. <laughs> uh, what's Figma? Figma Ball. Anyway, uh, Clubhouse. I've heard of that one. Beeper and Fair. Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard of that beeper and fair, uh, unless it has like 
clowns in a merry-go-round. I'm not entirely sure. And founded the social network Present. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, now he's not because he decided to be in San Francisco. Yo, man, like, just ban all the guns, right? Ban all the guns, ban all the self-protection, and then there won't be any more crime. There won't be any more violence because then we can live in this bitched-up socialist utopia, right? Yeah, I don't fucking think so. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. And uh, rest in peace, Bob Lee. Condolences to his family. 100% man. So catch you all later. Bye.